Hi dear students, welcome back again in our mathematics class. Hope all of you are well at home. So you know that your half yearly syllabus is completed now. So we are going to start the explanation of few worksheets. Today I will explain the worksheet number 46, number line subtraction and I will give you few revision questions in this class. You have to revise it and and um, the full worksheet you will get it in the school website. So let's start the class. Dear students, first of all I will explain the I will repeat the process of subtraction using number line and then I will discuss each and every question of worksheet number 46 on number line subtraction. So what is the step 1 means see in number line subtraction we can do many ways in number uh, number line subtraction so here the easy way is if you you know that in subtraction there is three terms that is minuend subtrahend and difference so minuend is the bigger number from which we can subtract subtrahend is the number which we subtract from the minuend and the difference means you know the result of the subtraction so let's start with the process one the pro first process is here you can do it in this way that first of all you have to draw the number line how to draw the number line take uh, take your ruler and draw the line and then you put the numbers when you marking the numbers the gap between two numbers should be same similar now what you have to do you have to take the minuend the bigger number first means you have to mark the bigger number where is the bigger number see i have given here one example 10 minus 2 equals to what question mark so first of all i have written from 0 to 10 if you if you write after 10 then on, then also you can, it is it is right but as the minuend is 10 here so i have marked 10 next you have to mark after marking you have to move to the left left means left side of the line then uh, and choose the subtrahend. Where is the subtrahend? The subtrahend in this question is 8. So see I have stopped. I have jumped up to 8. Now you have to count the step. How many steps you move to come to 8. Number 8. So 10 to 8. I have jumped here 2 step. 1 plus 1 equals to 2. So here the plus that plus indicates the we are counting the steps which is the result of the subtraction using number line so in subtraction using number line what you have to do is you have to count the step this is the main thing the next procedure is when we will solve the large number subtraction in number line that time we have to take the large interval means 10 unit 20 unit this large intervals for large number subtraction and start with the subtrahend start with, oh dear students let us start with the first question of worksheet number 46 what was the for worksheet number 46 see uh, the question was you have to subtract from you have to subtract 3 from 7 in the number line. So, here I have done the second procedure. Means for the large number subtraction, what we have, what I have told, that process I have applied here. Here I have choose the subtrahend first. What is the subtrahend here? Here the subtrahend is 3. So, from 3 I have started my journey. Then, I have to reach at 7 because this is my destination. So, this destination is given means the minuend is the, is, is the number 7. So, I have to stop at 7. Then, now we have to count the steps. How many steps we have to move to come to 3 or go to 
when we jump 3 to 4 we have jumped once when we jumped 4 to 5 we have jumped once when we jumped 4 5 to 6 we have jumped once then 6 to 7 1 so or you can say in this way also that 7 to 6 1 gap 1 jump so 6 to 5 1 jump 5 to 4 1 jump 4 to 3 1 jump so the number of jumps you have to count the number of jumps how to count just put the numbers what is the gap between two numbers and add it so 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 4 this is the answer so counting the jump is the answer means the number of jumps what jump you have moved to come to minuend to subtrend or subtrend to minuend that is the answer so 7 minus 3 equals to 4 this is the result Dear students, let us start the question number B, 1B. You have to subtract 4 from 9 using number line. So, first of all, you have to draw the number line. See, I have drawn here the number line. Then, I have chosen the second procedure. This is the, this procedure we can follow for the large number as well as the small number also. So, I have started with the subtrahend. The subtrahend here is 4. So, we have to start with the subtrahend. Then, we have to move to number 9 which is the minuend now we have to count the steps how many steps we have to move to go to 4 to 9 or 9 to 4 anything you can say so uh, how many jumps we have jumped here see we have jumped here 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, plus 1. that means 5 so the answer is 9 minus 4 equals to 5 Now, my dear students, let us start with the question number C. See, here we have to subtract 7 from 13. So, it's uh, quite bigger. So, I have started with the subtrahend. Subtrahend is here is uh, 7. So, I have started with 7. Then, I have to stop at 13. So, I have written here 13. Up to 13, I have written here because from 7 to 13 how many steps we have moved or how many jumps we have jumped that is the answer or result of the of this question so here from 7 to 13 or 13 to 7 if we if we want to go 7 to 13 then also we have to jump uh, 6 jumped or if you say that uh, 13 to 7 then also it is 6 jump so the answer is 13 minus 7 equals to 6 this is the result. Now look at the fourth question that is one question number 1D that is you have to subtract here 7 from 14. So here also I have done the same procedure. So I have choose the subtrahend first. Then I have take the similar gap between two numbers and then I have moved at uh, the number 14 see I have written extra 15 16 and 17 you can ignore it you can avoid it uh, so up to 14 we have to write then we have to count the jumps only in uh, you have to remember one thing that in uh, number line subtraction what you have to count is you have to count the jumps that is the result of the subtraction using number line so from 7 to 14 I have to jump 7 steps. So the answer is 7. So 14 minus 7 equals to 7. Now this is question number E of the worksheet number 46. See subtract using number line from you have to tw uh, subtract 22 from 42. So the it is a bigger number or larger number subtraction. So what we have to do is we have to start with the subtrahend. Okay, 
and then we have to take the large number of intervals means the gap between two numbers should be large unit means uh, from uh, i have taken here 10 unit gap so after 22 we will get 32 then 42 so uh, the now we have to count the jump so plus 10 plus 10 equals to 20 this is the result so in large number subtraction what you have to do is you have to take the large gapping or large interval then you have to add the intervals and you will get the result see in 1f question number 1f subtract using number line here also you have to subtract the large number means 38 from 58 so we have to start with the subtrahend what is the subtrahend here here the subtrahend is 38 so we have to start with subtrahend and we have to move to the minuend so i have taken here 10 unit gap so the answer is 10 plus 10 equals to 20 so the answer is 20 it's a large number subtraction but the numbers two numbers are 60 and 56 these two numbers are close to each other so no need to take the large number of gapping i have taken here one unit gap for uh, see i can write all the numbers here after 56 to 60 we can write all the numbers that's why i have taken one unit gap so the answer is four here it's a fill up question means here you no need to draw the number line the number line already given now you have to put the numbers the appropriate numbers see the blue line is goes to point number uh, number six so in the first place we can write six and the green line is pointing at three so the in green place we can write three so six minus three i have got now how many how many steps we have to move to six to three six we have to move to come to 3 from 6. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 that means 3. So the answer is 3. So 6 minus 3 equals to 3. See, it's, it is also a fill up. Here now the number line is also given. So blue line marked at 0 to 7. That means the last number is 7. So the we can write 7 in the place of minuend. Minus uh, the green line comes to 6. So the number is 6, the subtrahend. Now how many steps we have to move to, from, uh, to come to 6? That is 1. So the answer is 1. Here in question number 2c, it is also a fill up. See the blue line is goes to a 9. So we can write minuend as 9 and subtrahend as 8 because green line is come to 8. So how many steps need to move to um, come to 8 from 9? That is 1 step. So the answer is 1. So 9 minus 8 equals to 1. It is again a fill up. So green line comes to 3 and blue line goes to 4. So the answer will be 4 minus 3 equals to how many jumps we have to move to come to 3 from 4. It is 1. So the answer is 1. And this is the last question of this worksheet. After that, I will give you a few questions of revision question. See here, the green line comes to 5 and the blue line comes to 0. So, the number of steps here is 5. So, how to write this uh, fill up? That is 5 minus 0 equals to 5. Because blue line goes to 5, green line comes to 0 and the count uh, number of steps is 5. So this is your homework. This is the revision of all the questions. See the rest of the question you will get it in the school website's uh, worksheet. Uh, school website I have uploaded one worksheet that is practice set 1 and a uh, few questions I have written here. You, you can give the answers here only. Uh, uh, this is your homework. So practice it and give the answer. Thank you.